ओम भवताप प्रणाशिने आनंद घनमूर्ते ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदाय ने मातस्तुभ्यम नमो नम जय मां जय मां सबको जय मां आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल सो यू नो लेट्स रीड टूडेज क्वेश्चन इट्स अ लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन बट आई विल रीड इट एंड सी दिंग इज दैट यू नो वेन यू राइट सच लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आई एम नॉट एबल टू पुट इट इन द थम नेल और आई एम नॉट एबल टू पुट इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो द वीडियो यू नो बिकॉज इट्स वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग सो इफ इट इज अ लिटिल शॉर्टर इट वुड हेल्प ओके सो इट्स फाइन आई एम गोट रीड इट राइट नाउ so uh, this person his name is or his or her i really don't know which i had asked also earlier and maybe he has answered it i haven't really seen it yet so his name is fretless smile more you know uh, that's the name <coughs> it says swami ji how is one supposed to continue on the spiritual path without the physical presence of one's guru especially if someone has been in the association of one's guru off and on for a decade or two yet he she is not an elevated sadhak also knowing that the guru is a divine entity and the equation in spiritual realm is not as in material yet how is one to cope with the loss and carry on with the journey there is a deep void and it gets very lonely sense of neither here nor there kindly reply it's a long question so i'm let's break it you know into little little bits and talk about it so you first thing you are saying is how is one supposed to continue on the spiritual path without the physical presence of one's guru yes it is very difficult i do not deny that you know see when a person is used to an anchor all his life or her life and constantly you know i have seen people who have gurus uh they go to the guru with all kinds of problems you know which is fine whether it is material physical plane problem or whether it is a spiritual problem they go to the guru for every little bit either they'll call up or or they go running to the guru for advice which is fine and suddenly tomorrow now the guru is gone so there is a complete void what you are saying that there is a void within myself and i feel very lonely yes it is true and if you think that uh, another thing that i'm answering from your question is that you say that you have, even if a person has been with a guru for a decade or so and is still not a sadhak why you know decade or two is not enough to become a sadhak you know sadhak is okay fine you know you're doing your exercise and abhyas of doing your jap dhyan and your paath puja it's wonderful one has to you know start doing that <clears throat> it is a kind of a beginning or sadhak banne ke liye ya you know really a sadhak you know i'm not talking about just one year one hour on the asan in the morning and evening if you really want to become a sadhak it takes a very 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 long time it's not even in one lifetime so don't worry about you know even if you were with the guru for a decade or so you know you're still not a sadhak or don't worry about that you just continue doing what you are doing now the thing is yes you feel do feel very lonely suddenly now you know today you have been with your guru and tomorrow is not there i have known of you know i've known certain sadhus also who were with ma and once ma left her body they went into terrible depression for a year or two <clears throat> not a small period you know but eventually one comes out of it if you realize and have complete faith in your guru guru never leaves you you have to remember that guru is always within you he is sitting right here and if you have that complete faith believe me you can actually communicate with your guru when he is not in the physical body the communication is much better because what happens in the physical body he is surrounded by so many devotees who are questioning him and doing things and asking things and you know it goes on so he is involved with so many many people around him but when he leaves his physical body or her physical body 
he is sitting right inside you and the guru will never give up on you he will always hold on to you it is we who give up you know and say okay we are not getting any response and you know we've lost faith and you know i hear all these different things from people so it is our fault the guru is right here so when you communicate you are talking to your own self right so if you sit down and say i am really unhappy i am feeling lonely what do i do ma or whoever your ishq is or your guru is what do i do see basically it is the divine who is the guru right it is the ishq who is the guru now the ishq and the divine have sent you a physical person as a guru he is the representative of the divine so when you sit and pray to the divine or your ishq it is the same thing that you are praying to your guru or you are praying to the divine because they are one so you just have to sit down and communicate that way now supposing you say you feel very lonely okay what do you do there are lots of different things you can do find some activity in which you can get involved you know like reading scriptures if you are fond of that if you are fond of listening to bhajans if you are fond of listening to kirtans if you are fond of you know uh, just looking at the nature and observing nature whatever you feel i will be very comfortable writing notes writing sayings of your guru you know all those different things you can involve yourself in those kind of activities now if that also doesn't work for you do satsang that is the most important thing do satsang with like minded people do satsang who share the same guru now whoever your guru is the other person he also has the same supposing the same guru sit down and do satsang take out an hour or so every day or whatever and do satsang believe me you get so elevated and you feel so good and refreshed and you feel like you know your guru is right sitting right next to you when you do satsang with you know the same people i mean like minded people devotees it's the best thing ma always to say satsang karo you know because that is where you will connect constantly with your guru and you'll never feel lonely so try all these di- different exercises don't say that i'm i've got a void yes people do get a vo- feeling of void you know that suddenly everything is gone it happens with your own people also your parents have gone away suddenly there is a void because that presence is not there that physical presence you know people are used to a uh, sort of a physical guru you know all the time they are used to somebody they can connect with and that's why they run from one guru to the other if one has gone he they try hunting for the next guru don't do that he's right sitting right inside and you've accepted somebody as a guru stick to that and communicate talk to him and he listens and he answers but you must have the patience and the faith okay so i hope this is okay for you please comment jai ma ओम भवताशिन्नयानंद घनमूर्त ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदायिने मातस्तुभ्यम नमो नमः जय मा एवरीवन आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम